so this is Snow Pea, and Snow Pea is bum, 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 constipated. Welcome to Constipation Station. I know Snow Pea is constipated because I'm monitoring how often she poops, and she has not been pooping very often. Her last poop was two days ago, and I can feel when I feel around in here, this thick coil of stool going through her abdomen. I can actually feel it going down here and winding to her terminal rectum, and it's just sitting in there. It's a little bit thick and it's a little bit hard, and it probably is not a pleasant thing to have to push out. So today I am going to give her a simple warm water enema to try to encourage some of that stool to come out. And we're gonna see how this goes. So what I have is some very warm water, not hot, but warm. I have a red rubber tube, this is a five French, and a syringe, which I'm just going to pull up some water in, and some lubricant, which I'm just gonna stick onto this paper towel and place on the end of my tube. Okay, are you nursing on my belly button? I literally just fed you, baby girl. So I wanna make sure that it's not gonna go in too far because I don't wanna do something dangerous. So I like to mark it a little bit more than an inch in just so that I can see when it goes in that it's not going in too far. Okay, so it looks a little bit like that. And now, my dear, I have the unfun job of threading this into your bum. Sorry. So I just really, really gently am putting this in. You need to do this really, really gently. Kind of let them wiggle around a little bit, that's okay. And then just try to get it so that both of the holes are in there. I know. So that is in just about an inch. And then I'm gonna very slowly start to put some of this warm water. And it might start to come out. You can kind of wiggle it around very gently. I know, it's horrible. There's a tube up your butt. So you have to go very, 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 very slowly. And if she wants to walk around, that's okay tube doesn't come out. You need to be really, really gentle because we don't want to puncture anything in there. We just want to break up a little bit of the end of the stool and soften it with the warm water and get things moving. Going really, 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 really slow. And I like to try to get just one cc over the course of a minute or two. I know, it's, it's not comfortable. It's not comfortable at all. Okay, so that was one cc of fluid. I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna let her walk around for a minute. And then I'm gonna take my tissues, I'm gonna take my tissues and I'm going to just stimulate. And hopefully we're gonna get some of this moving. Can we get some stuff moving? We get some action here. Oh, we got a poop. We got a poop. We have poop coming. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. And once you start stimulating, don't stop. If you can feel that their abdomen is pushing, just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't even stop to look. Oh, there goes one. There goes a little poop. Here comes some more. Here comes some more. Very good, very good, very good. Oh my gosh, she has so much poop. This is two days of poop that needs to come out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my God, it's huge. I could feel all of that in you. Push, 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 push. 
Push, push, push. Oh my gosh, it's the world's biggest poop. I'm so glad that I got this on film. Wow. That's like the size of your entire abdomen. That must feel so much better. Holy poops. All right. I mean, look at that. Look how much poop we got out of her. So an enema is one great tool to have in your toolkit when you have really constipated kittens. If you do it gently and slowly and then you stimulate them afterwards, I find that it's a great way to release the stool. Good job, Snoopy. You did it. Oh, happy.